Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm in the Surrey countryside today, going from beside the River Mole. The town of Cobham is about a mile, a mile and a half in that direction. I'm heading in this direction here. I've got to go across the M25. We're going to have a look at a semaphore tower. Now, when I say semaphore, probably most of anything to do with semaphore in my videos has been semaphore signals, which you get on railways. That's not what we're doing in today's video. We're going to look at a much earlier form of semaphore, a communication tower, which um, was for communicating between London and Portsmouth. There was a whole line of these towers, and we're going to go and see the only one that survives. I've come out of the fields and away from the River Mole. I'm on a road called Pointers Road. We're getting close to the tower. You may just be able to hear the motorway. It's 29 degrees today, but it was very windy out in that field. Down there, you probably can't see it. There is just some water there. It must be a tributary to River Mole. There's something quite interesting here. There's this. It looks like a rather elaborate letterbox post. It is actually the gates to the lodge, um, which I'm assuming was probably the original entrance to Hatchford Park, which has now been cut by the M25. I'm going to do a separate video. Is my plan for the Hatchford Park because there's something quite interesting. There's an old mausoleum, but you'll have to. That's not going to be in this video. Yeah, I do like. Is this the world's tallest letterbox? Even if it is a letterbox set in an existing pillar, I think I might have just found the tallest letterbox in Great Britain. If you know of a taller letterbox, please do comment and tell me. Let's go from tall letterbox to a tall tower. I've now turned off Pointers Road and going up the drive towards the tower. It's where we cross the M25. You can probably hear the traffic. Interesting that there's a concrete block. It's got steps. I think that's for horse riders to dismount their horses, so they obviously don't want you riding a horse over the M25. I'm not sure if there's any reason why they don't want you to ride a horse over the M25. Anyway, here is the M25. So that way is clockwise, just up there in the distance, see the junction with the M3, or not, sorry, not M3, the A3, and then looking anti-clockwise, a little bit busy. I hope it's not this busy when I want to go home. If it is, I may have to find a different route. Anyway, into the woods and let's find this tower. So after a pleasant walk through the woods, we're almost at the tower. So the tower we're going to see, this semaphore tower, it's a very interesting survival from the Napoleonic era. It was built following the Battle of Waterloo. They bought, built a string of towers all the way from Admiral House in London right down to Portsmouth and they could use it for communicating and they they did they communicated from 1882 to 1847 but it was never actually used in any form of wartime technology moved on before this tower they would have lit beacons on the hills but that after lighting the beacons on the hills the next stage of technology was this this is the Chantley Heath semaphore tower and um up on the top is the semaphore, which can spell out different letters and different numbers as we're going to find out when we go inside. After it finished its use as a tower, it at one point became an estate house. Somebody lived here in the grounds of the estate that we're in. And um, then eventually it became derelict. Unfortunately, it caught fire and not much happened. Then in 1989 I believe they began to restore the tower and then finally in around 2020 the Landmark Trust took on the tower, restored it and you can now go and stay there but they occasionally have open days so you can hire this. If you have a group of four people and you want to go on holiday somewhere you can stay here but here today no, no one's staying there because we are going to be going into people's bedrooms and stuff there won't be anyone asleep it's open today to go and have a look around so we're going to go inside and I expect we're going to go right up onto the roof. It's going to be really quite good fun. So let's go and explore the interior of the semaphore tower.
And here we are inside room one of the bedrooms on the on the second or first floor, depending on whichever way you look at it. Nice big bed, so because it's a landmark trust property, you can stay here. So you can hire this out, and two of you can sleep up here. There's a couple more bedrooms upstairs. So we're going to have a look around now. We're going to go right up to the roof. It's really quite exciting. So this is the staircase. Which one's that? One's coming down. It goes right up to the top. So go up here. So it has the feeling of being like a house. So like I say, you can, you can buy this, come and stay here for the weekend. It'd be quite a pleasant place to, to stay. So here's the other. Let's see what's in. Oh, this is the shower room in here. So put the door slam shut. The shower, basin, toilet. No need for frosted glass because unless someone's climbing a tree, no one's going to see you. Out here, back into the little hallway. So basically. Because of the size, it's just a room per floor, but that's what's part of its charm. So this is two beds here, so it sleeps four people. I'm going to continue up, see what other rooms. I would expect to find a maybe a lounge and a kitchen. There was also like a little reception area and a big bathroom downstairs um, on the ground floor. So we continue up here. You know, if you could stay here, it'd be quite nice to just go out for walks out into the woods. Landmark Trusts have lots of properties all over the UK, and I think even into Europe. Um, so maybe one day we can go and visit some other properties of theirs. This is the lounge. So imagine it'd be great to stay here, sit down here for an evening, no TV, but you know, you don't need a TV. Sit and play a game and chat, maybe have a drink. Very nice place to come on holiday to. It's quite near to where I live, um, so whether I'd come here on holiday, but certainly some of the other places I may well go to on holiday. Lots of appropriate books of the area. Um, there's even a Swallows and Amazons book there because they did semaphore signalling, which we'll talk about quite soon when we get to the top. Go up another flight of stairs to view out the window into the trees. By the time we get to the top, hopefully we should be above all the trees. So we continue up to here. Now this staircase, which we've been going up, kind of breaks here, becomes a separate staircase up to the up to the roof. So you can see down there, right the way down where we've just been. So we've been coming up quite a long way. This room here is the kitchen. That's the Landmark Trust guidebook there, which has all the properties. There's the workings for the semaphore, which we'll have a look at when we get up there. So it's a really nice kitchen. We'll continue on up the final set of stairs onto the roof. The bit I've been most excited about, because I always enjoy climbing up towers. This is mind your head, so be careful. And here we are, we're on the roof of the semaphore tower and it's really quite, it's quite come up here there's just people casually sat there at picnic table and then looking out that way is looking towards where the, the camera won't pick it out i can see up to west london i can see where the arch we started down there somewhere down there in the mole valley as you can see we're right above the trees the chestnut trees are nice you don't often get to see them on top like this but still the birch trees there's the chimneys there. If we go over here, we'll have a look at the view on this side. So that way looks out onto the Surrey countryside. And then, of course, the most important thing really up here is the semaphore. And if you were to look at it from this side, it doesn't actually... I looked and the position it's in, there is nothing that could be in that position. So I'm going to make my way back down to our walk somehow through the trees and around 
back to where I parked my car over over there somewhere so hope you enjoyed this video thank you very much for watching do look out for future landmark trust open days at both this property and other properties they do have them and also as I said you can come and stay in them so thank you very much for watching please do feel free to like subscribe and comment and from the view from the Chantley Heath 7-4 tower goodbye